Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this page. I'm back again going over on today's broadcast. We are going to talk about all of the supplements and protein powders that I buy from Amazon. Um, for the most part, um, my daily supplementation is InnoSupps, which I don't get from Amazon, but I want to go over all of the things that I get on Amazon specifically because I know everybody loves to shop at Amazon. It's just so convenient, right? And so I get asked a lot um, about protein powders especially. So I'm excited because, listen, I don't drink my calories, number one. And number two, I'm really particular about protein powder. But the ones that I have found are so good that it's made hitting my protein goal just easy because I supplement with one to two servings of these protein powders every day. So I'm going to go over my favorite protein powders. I know that's a that's a popular one, um, popular question I get. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, if you have any questions, send, go ahead and send a message. Um, before we get too far, make sure you're following this page um, because not only do I do the lives, but I'm constantly linking. So um, if you're watching right now on Amazon Live, make sure you follow my Amazon storefront. If you're watching somewhere else, I will link it in the description box that, where you can follow my Amazon storefront because I, I link things daily, honestly. If I bought it on Amazon and you see it on my social media, it's going to be linked in my storefront. So you could always just go check there first before having to wait for me to respond to a DM because you know I'm not that great about that. Okay, so first up, this is my pill organizer. This, um, I take a lot of different supplements between my InnoSubs and my other supplement. Like I look at supplements, listen, not for like weight loss. The reason I take supplements is for filling, filling gaps in my nutrition and my overall wellness. Okay. Taking my little supplements makes me feel super confident when I go to the doctor and get my blood work done. Cause I feel like it's going to be on point, which it was last time. And so you know, as you get older, you start to care about stuff like that, right? You know, I'm 46 and I care about like my blood work now. It's crazy. Um, but I love this one because if you want to travel, you can only just pull out the number of days that you're traveling. And then I also like it because it's split into morning, um, midday, and then evening because that's how I personally take my supplements. I split them up. Now, um... This is the one I'm talking about, $6.79. I mean, you can't beat it. Um, so I do, I like it because you can take out the individual pieces for travel. One that I don't have linked here, but um, I wanted to show you. This is one that if you just take all of your supplements at once or you don't want them separated, you could do something like that too. This is what my husband does because he's lucky if he remembers once a day to take his supplements. So he just does that. But I love this one. And it's got the day labels on there. And um, this is how I take my supplements. So moving on, um, I have always had an issue in my household with going to need a shaker cup and there's no shaker cups. They like, it's like socks. You know how socks go missing? That's how shaker cups are in my household. So every once in a while, I have to buy the multi-pack. So you get six for $25, a really good deal. And they have these cool motivational sayings on them. Um, they still disappear. And I still have to buy these multi-packs like twice a year because, you know, they end up in the garbage. I, I'm, I'm certain that my kids end up throwing them in the garbage. But they have all kinds of different um, variety packs. And I just, I just loved the little motivational sayings. So there's that. Okay, the first supplement that I take from, that I get from Amazon is my Almax fish oil, my omega-3s. Now, omega-3s, it's important to have a balance of omega-3s and omega-6s in your diet. Most of us, if we're not paying attention, we're getting most of our fats from omega-6 sources. So you have to supplement with omega-3s. Omega-3s are your healthy fats, like the avocado and olive oil and salmon, but if you're not having that stuff regularly, you need to be supplementing. Um, this is going to help with like blood pressure, blood sugar regulation, brain health, um, heart health. So it's really important that you are getting your 
your healthy fats in. So I supplement with this. I like this one from All Max. I like the price, $13.90. I mean, you can't beat it. Um, oops, sorry. Let me open up my notes here. Oh, it's also going to help with your increasing HDL, lowering, which is your good cholesterol, lowering triglycerides, um, and it does give you that cognitive support. This is not, um, this is something that even young children can take. Now, let me preface this by saying I'm not a doctor. Um, you should always check with your doctor before including any supplements in your routine because there are certain things that shouldn't be taken together. Maybe you're on prescription medication that, that um, some supplements will affect. So never just take supplements blindly. You should always check with your doctor. Um, so let me just get that out of the way. But there's a lot of benefits and a lot of research on omega-3s, even for children, even for like, like as they're learning to speak and things like that. So don't take my word for it. Do some research, but omega-3. Definitely do not go without that. Okay, I've got a protein powder here up. Cake pop protein from PE Science. This is a protein blend, so it has um, casein and whey. So if you are um, sensitive to casein, then you know this might make, make you a little bit bloated. But if not, blended proteins are the best to cook with. Just an FYI. So if you have a whey casein blend, this is going to be good to make um, recipes like protein pancakes, protein cookies, but also, you know, I just add this to my, my, um, overnight oats or my oatmeal. Um, I also add it to almond milk and add it to my coffee to boost up, um, to boost my protein in my coffee. But let's talk about the flavor cake pop. This is what I use to make like my cake batter overnight oats or baked oats, like I said, because it's a blend, it bakes very well. Um, you can use it in any recipe, really, to boost the protein and the flavor. You guys, it tastes like cake batter or like a vanilla cupcake. Um, it's a little better than vanilla. I, it's just hard, hard to explain. One of my favorite protein powders that I have ever tried, and I love it. And it's Pea Science Cake Pop. You got to get it. So, so good. I do a lot of my recipes on um, on my Instagram with this particular protein powder. All right. Next up is a supplement, CoQ10. Um, this is good for heart health, um, energy production. Um, I've just always taken it. I take 100 milligrams. This is something that I was advised to from my um trainer many years ago it's supposed to help with muscle preservation also and i've just kind of like always included it in my supplement routine ever since so coq10 also it's supposed to help with your look your artery health your arterial arterial health prevent plaque buildup and things like that and like i said you know i'm in this stage of my life where um, my desires for my healthy lifestyle are not just aesthetics, it's health, literally. I'm not going to lie. In my 30s, I cared just about what I look like. Now I'm thinking like, okay, I want my blood markers to be good. I want my cholesterol numbers to be good. And so CoQ10, definitely, this is like a doctor-recommended supp supplement. I've listened to a lot of part, ugh, podcasts where like cardiologists will recommend CoQ10. So I get mine from Amazon and... Not a cheap supplement, but your heart is like without your heart, you're not living, right? So if it's going to help your heart. Okay, next up. This is a fairly new supplement for me. My dad was recently in the hospital and um, in doing research on that and in talking to like actually one of the nurses, one of his nurses actually said that he should be supplementing with B12 because um, you, there's a lot of older people become deficient in B12 and um, or it helps increase blood volume. And if, you know, you're struggling with anemia, but this is also good for like energy production, um, for mood, mood enhancement. So like if you struggle from anxiety, depression, if you're deficient in B12, 
um, which a lot of people are, especially if you avoid animal products. So if you are vegan or you know, try to cut down on like your animal product consumption, chances are you might be deficient in B12 and it's something you should supplement with. This is a sublingual and um, I've not been taking it a full month yet, but um, you know, so far so good. I actually have felt um, my energy has increased. I don't know if it's directly related to this or if it's placebo or whatever, but um, I, I, I don't know. I just, I just like taking it, especially when I found out um, how many people are deficient. And another thing is I used to always be anemic. Always, always, always. Every time I got blood work done, I was anemic. And if you've always been struggled with like low iron, this, this will help with that. So um, I'm not currently anemic and I wasn't anemic when I started taking this, but I thought, you know what, since I've always been kind of prone to anemia, um, and I have been decreasing my um, meat consumption lately. Like I red meat, I basically red meat and pork I've omitted from my diet for the most part. Um, and so, you know, chances are you're going to be lower in iron when you're not eating red meat. And so I take this B12. This is new though. Oh, here's the other. I have it linked down below there now. This is the supplement container I was just talking about. It's also $6.79. So depending on what your routine is like. All right, next up. I, I linked the wrong thing, guys. Actually, I linked the wrong thing because I don't have it here right now. But creatine is actually an excellent supplement for muscle building. Um, but I don't actually use the my protein creatine. I use, um, max strength for minosubs. Okay. Next up is the, their protein powder from the same company impact way protein. This protein has excellent macros and it's delicious. Um, usually when protein powders are like lower in calorie, they're not very good because they don't have a lot of carbs or fats in there for flavor but this one is excellent. So of all my protein powder choices, this one has the best macros at only 100 calories per scoop. Um, you're going to get 18 grams of protein for 100 calories. The flavor is amazing. This is chocolate. I don't typically like chocolate. This is more of like a milk chocolate. Um, if you've ever had a Wendy's Frosty, you can actually make a dupe for the Wendy's Frosty with this protein. I actually also use it on a dessert that I have on my Instagram Call, um, where I make magic shell with it. If you mix a little bit of this protein powder in coconut oil and you put it on some frozen Cool Whip, it literally creates like a hardened magic shell. And this is my favorite protein to use. The fl I just love the flavor. This protein is so good. I can almost like, if there's still some powder bits when I mix it into my yogurt or oatmeal, I don't mind tasting the powder. That's how good it is. So my two favorite flavors from this brand are the chocolate smooth. So this is the only chocolate protein powder I will use. I don't typically like chocolate protein. So chocolate smooth. And then also their salted caramel. Oh my gosh, the salted caramel is so good. I'm actually out of it. Actually, this is almost empty as well. I need to replenish. Okay, next up. The Ghost Lifestyle Protein Powders are literally game changer. This is like empty. Time for a new one. It's literally a collab with Oreo. So it is authentic cookies and cream protein powder. There's actual pieces of Oreo in the protein powder. It's got it's chunky, got a chunky texture. So it's delicious when you add it to oatmeal, when you add it to yogurt. You can make so many different desserts and and frosting and things like this with this protein powder. I love it in my coffee. I will throw some almond milk into a shaker cup and a scoop of this protein powder, shake it up, and I will take this with me to Starbucks to get my coffee. I will just get a triple shot of iced espresso and then pour this in. It's cookies and cream coffee. It is game changer, delicious. This is literally like... I try to come up with things to use this. Now it's a little higher in calories, it's 150 calories, but you get 25 grams of protein and it's worth it. Next up, I like just as much, if not maybe a little better. This one probably edged out the Oreo for me and it's Nutter Butter. 
So if you've ever tried Nutter Butter Cookies, it's literally chunks of Nutter Butter Cookie inside this protein powder. It's delicious. Also excellent in oatmeal, in yogurt, in your coffee, in um, baked oats, or if you're making like protein pancakes. Um, it's just really, really good, you guys. If you've not heard of this brand, these protein powders, they sell out all the time. Amazon um, even sells out. So when you see them in stock, get your hands on it because it's going to make hitting your protein macro like that much easier. Next up, PE Science Snickerdoodle. This is another excellent flavor. It's the PE Science Blend. So it's casein and whey, whereas the Ghost Lifestyle ones are just whey, but the blends make excellent um, baking powders. So you can add this to anything that you're baking to bump up the protein and it's gonna bake very well. Snickerdoodle is probably my favorite in like starting in fall, I start to gravitate to Snickerdoodle and I mix it into my warm oatmeal. So I make a lot of warm oatmeal and it tastes like you're literally biting into like a warm Snickerdoodle cookie when you have your oats with Snickerdoodle protein powder. It's just to die for. Um, 110 calories, 24 grams of protein. So really, really good protein to calorie ratio for the flavor. Usually when you have calories that are lower like that with high protein, you're not gonna get great flavor because it's lacking in carbs and fats. But this one, I don't know what they do. It's magical, it's delicious. You gotta try it. All right, I think this is my last item. And this is um, vitamin D3 with K2. This is excellent for your bone health, your bone health, especially for women, especially as you start to enter perimenopause and menopause, super important to take care of your bones, prevent osteoporosis. When you have um, supplement with D3 and the K2, the K2 will make sure that the D3 is being utilized in your bones and not elsewhere. So it's excellent combination to take together. Um, so I've recently started supplementing with vitamin D probably like six months ago. It's an age related thing. Kind of started to think, you know what? It's time to take care of my bones. I can tell I'm going into perimenopause. And so, um, I decided to supplement with it. This also contains coconut oil, this particular supplement. And that's important because this is a fat soluble supplement and it is going to increase the absorption. If you take fat soluble supplements without a fatty meal or with something like coconut oil already in the supplement, um, then you're not gonna get the benefits of the supplement. Your, your body will not absorb it. So you want to either get a supplement that has fats already in it, or you wanna make sure you take something like this with a high fat meal so that you actually are getting the benefits of the supplement. So anyways, guys, those are all of the supplements that I currently purchase directly from Amazon and I love them, especially the protein powders. The protein powders have been game changer. It took me a long time to find pro protein powders that I truly, truly loved, that I didn't mind drinking in my coffee, that I don't, you know, because typically I'm someone that doesn't drink my calories. So that, um, that did not, you're getting like, the summary of many, many protein taste testing, many reviews I've read and I've tried so many different kinds and those are by far my favorite. Um, if I find more, I'll let you guys know. But for now, those are the ones that are in my cabinet. Those are the ones in my rotation. Try them. Let me know what you guys think because um, like I said, game changer for hitting that protein macro. All right, you guys. That is it for today's um, live. Make sure you're following my page for my next one. My next one's gonna be all of the beauty products that I currently purchase from Amazon. So you don't wanna miss that one. I've got some good ones in there. I will show you my current you know, routine in terms of all of the products I get. And I will show you all of my faves. So make sure you're following my page and I will see you guys in the next one.